Welcome to the real deal. What is up, guys? It's your boy, the real deal, back with another red channeling video. And today I wanted to show you how to use uh, RSL Helper. Um, so I've been using it for a while now, and you know I've been playing the game for probably two and a half years now, probably a bit longer. And one of the most tedious and most boring things in the game is campaign and farming food. You know I've got to the point now where I just don't really want to do it anymore. Um, so yeah, I downloaded RSL Helper a couple of months ago and I've been using it for a while now, and it was a great tool to help you in the game. And at the moment, there is also a champion training event going on. Um, and, you know, these are probably one of the best events in the game. I usually never skip them because it's the only place or pretty much the only event where you can get a legendary skill tome from. And they almost always do it for this one as well. Um, and the other great thing is that, you know, either you can get food ready, you know, start farming food up to level five or you can start six star in champions so it's a win-win really the only downside is it is just extremely boring to do so um quick disclaimer um you know uh, polarium they let you use auto clickers and they let you use rsl helper they have no problem with it um for this to work though you will need to have a pc or a laptop um if you've got a mac i'm really sorry i can't help you i don't have any apple product pc and hopefully you can deal with a mac I'm not sure, but if you've got one, please let me know. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is go into Mr. Google, and if you search RSL help raid, um, and then it's github.com uh, by Fastoff. So that is the first thing you need to click on. Scroll down to download RSL helper initial setup here, and then that will download. As you can see, this is my third take of filming this. Um, yeah, so we just let that download. And then you go show in folder and then it will um, start to download here and if you've got chrome um, in general it will be this pc local c user your username and then downloads so click on the exe um, you may get a warning here that says it's like a big blue box it's like windows do not run that's Windows giving you a warning and um, that's because basically it doesn't recognize the program because it's not that popular but if you just click more info and then run you can stall it anyway and um, that is at your own discretion though and then you just do like next 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 and it's just like the normal way that you install a program um, I'm not going to do that though because um, I've already installed it I don't want to reinstall it again so and then when it's installed it will be C program files um, RSL helper and it's there and you know you can make that into a shortcut on your desktop just by you just go to your desktop new shortcut browse and then it's just going through that same path file again yeah and then just click on that and that will make another shortcut for you and um, I think if you run it run it once as well it appears here as well so you can just run it off that as well so that's all up and running and we've got raid open so the next thing to do is click on the exe file and then that will get it running so it does take a little while to load yep so that's running and it's fab stop thank you so much you've made my life so much easier and now it's just um, grabbing all the like um, images and stuff that it needs to run and it will come up and it will be First off, it will be blank. And uh, these are the settings I usually use. So you've got multi level XP ticked, um, auto refill, and auto sell artifacts. So auto sell artifacts is what you want ticked on if you're doing campaign. If you're doing dungeons, you'd probably untick that. And you've got sell options. And you'd have to, I think I'll say that for another video. But in here, you can sort of, for example, do sell or keep. So keep keeps it, sell sells it. Um, for example, life gear useless. So always want to sell that all, um, all and all, and then you do add rule, and then you can sell it. But yeah, like I said, sell that for another video. I mean, because we're doing campaign, we just want to sell. Auto refill will just basically keep using your um, gems to buy energy, so you can keep going and just keep setting food. So that's all set and so as I said like it's all blank at the moment so you need to go battle 
and um, whatever stage you want to do. So yeah, set out um, food, press um, go, um, and if you can, um, you need a fast uh, campaigner. Fellhound is one of the best. Um, I'll show you his build at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, he I think he's the fastest. He does it in six seconds. I don't think there's anyone faster than that. So he's one of the best for this. So you can see it's picked up our information. So then we do set food, scroll to the bottom. So we've got 44 uh, one star champions. So let's just pick up the ones that we're doing at the moment. Yeah, so we've got nine. So I always do half and half. So there's 44 champions. So I'm not going to do the math. Uh, well, say it's like 20 odd. So, and it needs to be multiples of three. So, you know, 21, 24, 30, any sort of, any numbers like that that are divided by three will work. Um, and then you can set your twos as well. So I always do half as well. And that needs to be three and the same for three. Um, champions that are four star, I never use gems or energy on them because it's not that efficient. When you, it's it's brilliant for the first couple of runs, but after that it stops being efficient, and it's just better to use brews. So for four star champions, I always use brews because it's more efficient, uh, energy and silver wise. So it's just better to do it that way. Yeah, so that is pretty much that. And then like yeah, five and stars, six, always use brews. I mean that's when you're end game. If you're earlier on in the game, maybe. You don't have the luxury of using brews, but end game, I'd always use brews on fast, uh, four star champions. So you just close it to let it run, and then you just press start, and then just let it run. So you know, um, and usually I'll set up like a whole bunch of champions, and it takes about half an hour to go through it all. And then I'll just like you know pop down to the shops, get some food, or you know do a bit of housework, watch some Netflix, you know Last Kingdom, whatever. And or just spend some time with the wife for like half an hour and then come back, rank it all up and then just run it again. And yeah, it's an absolute life changer. Um, you know, it's going to save you so much time and you can just go and enjoy stuff and you don't have to worry about these other things. And also selling those artifacts as well will get you so much silver. Like look at me, I'm on 70k at the moment and I burnt through the artifact event the other day and I'm still on 70k. I've never had so much silver in my account. So... And then to stop it, obviously you just keep letting it run, or um, you can just press stop, and then it will just finish. And I did have a problem the other day where basically um, halfway through this, I I can't I, I, I don't know, so I click on something else, and it stopped working properly, and it's only doing two champions at a time. So you basically just fully close it, reopen it, and just restart the process again, and you're good to go. So yeah, as promised, let's have a quick look at my Fellhound. So he's a Void Rare. Um, so I wouldn't recommend him when you're early game, but sort of mid to late game, um, that's when I would start to um, gear him up because you also need gear, and obviously he's a rare void, so he's not super hard to get. But early game is going to take you a while to get him. So I've got a complete mishmash of gear here. Um, the most important thing are the stats. So um, two point four, well, no, um, sorry, two k attack. Uh, 3.7 defense because he's um, ability his attack abilities scale off attack and defense uh, speed just has to be above 100 uh, crit rate ideally should be 100 plus but uh, I've gone overboard and then um, crit damage only 250 nothing else matters on him and um, we'll just have a quick look so substats you're looking for are speed and crit rate and this is like really old gear this is like when I was really early on in the game so I could improve his gear tenfold by now, but I'm not going to. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and crit damage necklace. I mean, that's not even a six-star piece. Uh, and then a defense banner for more damage. Um, and then quick look at masteries. So, I'd say completely ignore the defense tree. It's completely irrelevant, really. Um, the most important one is just offense. So, crit rate. Um... 10% more damage. When he's got more HP, he's going to inflict more damage. So because he's hitting those waves, he is going to be at you know full HP all the time because you should just one shot them. Um, increased damage by 8% on the first hit. 
Um, don't mean me to tackle violence, to be honest. Um, yeah, to be honest, it probably would have been better to take bring it down, but that's fine. Um, Wrath of the Slain and kill streak. So as you can see, I stopped farming masteries on him because I actually reached the threshold for crit damage. Um, if you're low on, on um, crit damage, just come to Stroke to Fury and then take uh, Flawless Execution for an extra 20% crit damage. So if you're at 250, you should be one shot in those waves, no problem. Yeah, so that is him all sorted. Yeah, so that is the end of the video. I hope, I hope this helps you make your life so much easier doing campaign and uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace